The Casbah of Eb Ibn <laughs> Haddo. Hey there, explorer. Let's step back in time and explore the authentic side of Morocco. Ait Ben Hadou is one of the most interesting places to visit in the southeast of Morocco and the most popular stopover on the way to the Sahara Desert. Hey guys, Natasha here from the Traveling Foxes and welcome to Morocco! Behind me is my friend Cecil and over there is our tour guide and behind the camera, me! Nice. So this is actually day one of our tour with Desert Morocco Adventures. We had a really fun and cool road trip coming here. If you guys haven't seen our previous videos of Morocco, definitely check that out. And now we're at a special place where if you love these movies that I'm going to mention later, you will probably recognize this, this set. Let's go. And the Casbah it was built in the 12th century. It's an oh, old Casbah. Wow. They still use it now for the movies. And it was the, the last uh, renovation, what was five years ago. Just like 30 minutes drive from here is the Ozuzet. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it's like the gateway to Sahara. This historical czar or citadel is not only one of the most preserved. This whole thing is actually a UNESCO heritage site. But also a popular backdrop for many Hollywood films. And you've guessed it, Game of Thrones. Exploring this village was already part of our four-day itinerary with Desert Morocco Adventures. We went as a group of three, and it was nice to explore at our own pace. Look at Nat. It's so like hot. Our, it's super, super hot here. But it's actually mid-October, so it's actually not the peak season of, heat, yeah. of peak of the heat. So imagine um, having to travel here, coming over here like June, July. It must be really hot. So now we're passing through the Caspa village. There's a little shopping area here. Ooh, a cafe and restaurant called Gladiator. What I noticed about the Berber villages here in the Atlas Mountain, most of the houses here are camouflaged according to the nature of the landscape. So for example, we pass by like the red mountains and you can see the color of their houses is also red. Here it's very sandy, beige, and it's like, hiding in plain sight. The architectural style here is well preserved and the materials used like clay and hay are perfectly adapted to the climatic conditions, usually in harmony with the natural environment. In our Berber flag, yeah. there is the, in the middle side, there is this symbol that means the freedom. It means a person with hands up. Oh, hands up and the legs. Freedom. Yeah. Freedom. 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 Awesome. This is the list of all the movies that were shot here. The Bible. the Bible. There it is, Gladiator. Just imagine, this was the set of the Gladiator. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Because this is also a village, some locals actually live here as well and some of them were extras in the movies okay, so you live here yeah. this is your house yeah. oh wow <laughs> you're an extra for game of thrones oh can i have your autograph yeah. wow. picture for him oh, oh okay. yeah. really? meeting some of the locals still living in the village really gave it an authentic feel of the place and since it attracts a lot of visitors there's also no shortage of moroccan items knickknacks and little souvenirs you can buy Somehow, Morocco is also all about that shopping experience. Look at this view, guys. <laughs> so to get a perfect photo opportunity and people are actually lining up, to do this oh, okay. from here and you can see this little uh -huh.
it's so busy here. <laughs> Instagram versus reality. Oh. Mm. Sorry, we're having a photo shoot. Up here in the top, um, they had to protect it because some people would actually store their treasures. So let's see if we can find any treasures up there. Okay, so no treasures there since it's closed, but wow guys, look at this place. You can see from the distance, we're not so far away from the gateway to Sahara. Our adventure is just about to start, so make sure to subscribe to the Traveling Foxes if you haven't yet, and we're going to make a whole playlist about our Moroccan adventure. So I hope to see you guys on the next video, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, Isha, our tour guide and driver, yes. um, just baptized us with new Berber names. So, <laughs> from Natasha, I'm now Fatima, and Cecil is. I am now Miriam, and Natalie. I am now Nora. Nora. <laughs> Nora. The Berber name Isha. Very welcome. And what is your Arabic name? Yusuf. Yusuf. Yes, What's in your English? English. We will baptize him with a Filipino name. Oh. Oh. Yes. Okay. Joseph. Okay. Huh? Joseph! <laughs> Joseph! But Joseph! Yeah. Joseph! Yeah. I have to remember yeah. this. With accent. Joseph. 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 <laughs> when I go to Philip. Say, I go see Joseph. I go see Joseph. Yes. yes. <laughs>